you hear me? Can you hear us? Do you want the microphone? Because you're going to be doing most of the talking, no, right? That's fine. You just need to make sure mic is on my thing. On my thing. Something like that. Okay. Paul? Praise to the God. Praise to the Trinitarian God. Praise to the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Amen. Praise to the living Word of God. Yes. Christian scripture is very clear. In the beginning, man and woman, who were God's good creation, sin against God, and they sin against one another. Because of their sin, they separated from God. But also Christian scripture tells us God's solution for this separation. Christian scripture tells us God is going to send Messiah. Yes. Messiah is going to step in and take the sin of the world on himself. And Christian scripture tells us eternal word of God who is identified as the Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ, comes and takes the sin of the world on himself by dying on the cross for the sin of mankind. Because of the sin of mankind, Lord Jesus Christ was willing to die for us. When he died on the cross, we were made right with God. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Praise to the Alpha and Omega. This man needs Jesus. Praise to the peace of peace. And praise to the eternal word of God. This is how you speak. Today, we want to talk about another eternal word of God. Which is identified as the Quran. According to Muslims, Quran is the eternal word of Allah. And somehow, it's become a book. And Muslims believe that Muslims believe that while the Quran is the eternal word of Allah, it is perfectly preserved. The only thing is, even Islamic tradition tells us that it's not perfectly preserved. We know, even from the traditional account, that it wasn't. For example, we know that Muhammad. Let's start how the Quran is revealed. Yes. So the Quran was revealed to, over, uh, to Muhammad over 20 years. Muhammad dies in 632. After that, Muhammad didn't compile it himself. Instead, it was something that he felt shy about doing. Uh, and lots of his uh, companions had learned the Quran, they'd memorized it, but a lot of them died in the battle of Yamama. Now the saying goes, Islamic tradition says that it was com compiled from the few that remained and Abu Bakr, uh, Abu Bakr collected it and then it was transferred to Umar and his wife Hafsa who kept it under her bed and then it went down to Uthman but then, even then, we see from the Hadith from Bukhari uh, that there were problems, that there um, grew to be differences in the recitation uh, in the Quran in, in Azerbaijan I think it was and so uh, Disputes were breaking out, so Bukhari ordered for there to be a standardized version to be compiled um, because that he was worried about these differences becoming problematic. So even that tells us, even that on its own, without any other information, that actually the Quran was not perfectly preserved even from the beginning. But then it gets worse. So, so far what we have is Muhammad never compiled the Quran. Mm. First companion of uh, first caliph of Islamic, Islamic tradition, Abu Bakr, compiles the first Quran around 632 to 634. There is no something wrong with this Quran because around 650s, people are having problem with the Quran under the Uthman. Uthman orders to make one more perfect Quran and he orders every written version of the Quran to be burned. Mm. As they make one perfect Quran, they send this perfect Quran, multiply it, make them nine, and then send it to the different cities. Yep. So, one Quran with one person goes to Basra, one Quran plus one person goes to Baghdad, one Quran plus one person to Damascus, one Quran plus one person to Medina, to Mecca, Are Aden, Herod, Nisapur, Cairo, and Alexandra. So nine perfect Quran with nine good person travels to different countries. Today Muslims tells us the Quran we are reading is exactly the same all over the world what it is revealed to Muhammad. Do you agree? Is that correct?
Do you agree? Come closer, come closer. Come closer. Yeah, come closer. Tell me, do you agree that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, that every single Arabic Quran in the world is the same, exactly the same? Do you agree? Do you agree? You think so? 100%. This gentleman, thank you. This gentleman says 100%. Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Thank you. So, Ibrahim believes, like the rest of the Muslim world, the Quran we are reading today, is this Arabic? Uh, no. Quran we are reading today, we are talking about the Arabic, this side. It's exactly the same all over the world, what it is revealed to Muhammad. Mm. Yet, none of the Muslim is able to prove, pro provide for us what was the Quran Muhammad received, mm. what was the first Quran Abu Bakr compiled, and what was the perfect second Quran Uthman compiled. Mm. So, sorry? So thousands of Muslims memorized Quran at the time of Muhammad. Isn't that amazing? Only few of them died, 400 of them died in the battle of Yamama. Islamic world freaked out what's going to happen with the Quran. They decided to make it one and perfect Quran. So, So, let's see. One perfect Arabic Quran, is it this one? Or is it, is it this one? Or is it this one? Or is it, is it this one? Or is it this one? You don't deserve to hold that. I don't deserve to hold that. My God loved you so much that he gave his son for the son. This is one of the Quran, sister. One of the Another Quran. Different Quran in Arabic. Another Quran. Now, we want you to say, Come and help us. Come and help us. Abraham. 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 Do a blessing. Do a blessing. You need Jesus. She does speak Arabic. So, come and tell us. Come and tell us. Come and tell us. Come and tell us. Why are you holding that? Come and tell us. Where, how, and where I got this so called fake Quran? Mm. They are the fake. Shall we get the NIV Bible and the yeah, KJ Bible? Yeah, come yeah, and yeah, tell us. Man, come and tell us. Why are you holding that for? What are you doing to you? You hang your own Quran. Work your Bible first. They are not fake Qurans. They are not fake Qurans. They are 32 different uh, Quran, Arabic Qurans out there. Sister, can you just give us the names? Okay, what, uh, this is number 519. Which is number can 19. you just give us the names? Okay, the these are the different Qurans, different Arabic Qurans that are in the world. Al Susi. Uh, Basra 874, Al Duri, Basra 767 to 860, Al Duri, oh okay, Al Duri, Abi Jafar, Yaqub, Ibn Amr, Ibn Amr, Al Laith Ibn Khalid, Al Duri, Wash, 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 three different types of Wash, Porsh Al Azad way, Porsh Al Asamani way, Ibn Jamaz, Ibn Wardan, Al Qasai, Al Shutabaya way, Hisham Ibn Ahmad, Damascus, Zakwan, Damascus, Al-Bazi, Mecca, Kumbu. So, okay, people got the point. 
of his eternal word to this dodgy man. It's not the Allah. It is the Muslims who trust the Habs. Oh. Habs, Imam Habs, never ever met the Allah, never ever met Gabriel, he never met Muhammad, he never met Umar, he never met Uthman. He turned up late 8th century Ooh. and produced his own Quran and today Thanks to Egypt, uh, as they officialized in 1924, today Muslims around the world are memorizing that Quran. Yeah. Something like 150 years after Muhammad? This Quran is identified as the Quran. You can read it from the instruction. I'm not talking about the house. 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 Muslims are getting very annoyed. 
annoyed about this. They're getting very annoyed about it. But this is what the evidence says. We didn't make this up. This is just evidence from around the world that there are Qurans out there that are all different from one another. And Muslims don't like it. But we tell them the truth because we want to show them another way rather than believing in a book that has obviously been changed and changed. Shame you don't want to stay. You need the truth. You need to hear this. You need to hear this. Now Muslims are leaving rather than confront these this evidence. Muslims need to confront this evidence, not run away from it. So this Quran identified as the Quran from Hobbes, who died around 795. Okay? And in here they've got another Quran identified as the Talab al Ashar Quran, which has been dated, which has been dated around 843 AD. And this one is the Shoba ibn Ayash Quran, according to the reading of Asim ibn Abi al Nu, the Al Shabtaya. Shab it's dated 809. 809. 809. Here's the miracle. Here's the miracle, sir. Are you listening? Sir, are you listening? I'm going to tell you the miracle. As you made a claim that Quran is the perfect and you have the Quran from the time of Muhammad. Wow. I already told you you were lying and then I already gave you the references. But here's the miracle. This Quran, this Quran is disagreeing with this Quran for, for 2,600 29 places. Wow. 2,629 places. That's a lot of and differences. And this Quran is disagreeing with this Quran in 504 places. 504 differences between this and half. So the question is it, which one is that only one perfect Quran? Which is the one and perfect Quran? And written in heaven, in tablets, eternal let's, tablets in heaven. Let's look at some of the examples. So you believe Quran is perfect and you don't care the variations I'm going to show it to you. I care so much about your soul, I bother to look at the variations. So, sister, yeah. Surah 4, verse 43 in the half Quran. Do you speak Arabic? Oh, awesome. Where are you from? Syria. Syria. Okay. So Surah 4, 43. verse 43. Well, to read all of them. So, if you read the um, verse in English. Okay. O oh, ye who believe, approach not prayers with a mind bold, until ye can understand all that ye say, nor in a state of ceremonial impurity, except when traveling on the road, until after washing your whole body, if ye are ill, or on journey, or one of you cometh from offices of nature, or ye have been in contact with women, and find ye no water, then take for yourselves clean sand or earth, and rub therewith your faces and hands, for Allah doth blot out sins and forgive again and again. Okay. So, sir, you said you read Arabic. Okay. I want you to read for us in Arabic, Surah 4, verse 30, 43. It starts from here, okay? okay? We have an Arabic speaker here, a Muslim. Wait, wait. So, Surah 4, verse 43. Okay. So you read the, you read it. Okay. Now, can you read this from here? Surah four, 
verse 43, it starts from here. Okay. Okay, you read that? Yes, of course. Okay, so can you tell me, sister, sister, just focus. So, sister, can you hold this one? So, where is underline? Okay, I want you to look at this underline word and then look at this underline word and then you tell us what is the difference between those two. So they missed the Alice. Missed an Alice between two words. Okay, so they boldly printed this Quran and then they forgot the Alice. Tell us where this has been printed. If you read, if where this has been printed? Read the Quran. Tell us where it has been printed. Tell us where it has been printed. Where was it printed? Amman, Jordan. So it has been printed in Jordan and in country Jordan, which is a Muslim majority country, they forgot the Elif. Okay? So tell us, without Elif, what is the difference in the world? Okay. There are 10 ways to the Quran. There are 10 ways to the Quran. There are 10 This one, we missed it. If you can read La Mastum, we can read La Mastum. There is no mistake at all. Quran is perfect. Sir, so, I understand you are saying the Quran is perfect. There are ten ways to do Quran. We have so many examples. No problem. Can you speak? You can read the master. You can read the master. Okay. Both can, are so both of them are the correct. Ah. Even one of them is missing the letter L. No. Can you tell us? Yeah, both can be correct. Focus. Sir, 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 we already told you, we already told you what is this Quran. So, just a moment, just a moment. With the Elif and without the Elif, what is the meaning of the word? Yeah. Thank you. And what's the other one? What is the other one? Otherwise, all just the process, the process. Okay. Trust the There are two interpretations. Either you touch, or it's just Okay. So, with the, so, let me explain. Let me explain. So, while this one, remember this one is the so-called part of the one perfect Arabic Quran, which has been published in a Muslim country, while they forgot the only one letter called Elif, while they forgot the letter Elif, both of them means is the touch. But with Elif and without no problem. Sir, sir, no problem. Sir, you no shake my hand. Sir, what's your name? What's your name? Abdullah, let me ask you a question. I'm going to make it very simple, okay? So, you just shake my hand. Do you need, how do you need to do voodoo? Do you just do voodoo or you do the gusun? No, that's the way you say it. Just the voodoo? Sexually, after Okay. So, because you just shake my hand, now you have to go and clean yourself because according to Islam, I just make you unclean. So, if you had a sex with me, okay, that... Focus. Would you need to do gusun or just the budu? Both. Okay. So, one of them is talking about the sexual intercourse in the touch context, and then one of them is just a handshake. Can you just tell me which Quran are you gonna follow? Okay. So both of them. One of them tells you the Buddha, other one gives you the interpretation of the Gusul. Gusul is the full part. So because only one Elif is missing, one of them gives the implication for the washing yourself, cleaning yourself after the sex, other one is the handshake. Can you tell me? Should I, in Britain, should I follow this Quran or follow this Quran? Yeah, wh which one is which one is Allah's Quran? I follow the all because they if disagree you, uh, with one if another. If you shake hands, we'll do. If you, if okay. Okay. Both of them.
man is talking about the touching, okay? I live in Britain. If I follow this one, do I have do I have a part or do I just do Hudu? So I just answer the question. Then this one. The other one, he said both. Which are different things. The point is, they are saying different things. They are saying different things. And Muslims are meant to follow what the Quran says. And we have two different Qurans that are saying two different things in the Arabic. I'm struggling to understand. So, irrelevant. While, while they are different from one another, in one of in a sexual sense, in other one is the touch in a just handle way. Okay? I'm asking a simple question. In Syria, in England, you are in Syria, you are from Syria. Okay? Currently, I am based in England. Should I follow this one or should I follow this one? The text is same. They're not the same, sir. You just read them. They're different. So, didn't you tell me? Didn't you tell me? Wasn't it wasn't you who told me one of them means is the handshake, other means is the sexual intercourse. It was you as a Muslim who speaks Arabic told me they are different. Now I am asking I am asking simple just one minute. Just one minute. Just one minute. One has an aleph, one doesn't have an aleph. Do I follow this Quran? Oh, yeah, no, I can't follow both because one of them gives me extra job. I disagree with her. One of them gives me extra job. No, I disagree with her. We don't shake hands with other uh, fortune, uh, fortune, fortune women. Just let me finish. Your brother already shook my no, hand. No. Your brother already shook my hand. Just, just one minute. Let me finish. You're stupid. And this privileged Christian brothers and sisters can do everything. Let me finish. I, I'm asking for I listen, I listen for you. Sir, for simple more than question. Ten let me simple finish. Let me finish. Question. I ask for the question. Which Quran I should Follow this one. Ah, I should yes, follow this yes, one. Yes. Why? If you, this one. I follow this if one. If you had sex, then you have to uh, take a shower. But we don't uh, check in uh, other, other, yeah, other uh, women. So if I had sex with my wife, then I have to take a shower. So that's it. And, so, and this you, Quran, you blame sir, the Quran, this Quran, you blame the Quran by, you. by fault of the publishing the press, you blame the Quran. I didn't blame it, so it's my own brother, Shadow, it's in Iran, they published the wrong Quran. Quran. This is my Quran. 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 They're different. They're completely different. What, what they're issue, what they're issue again. One has an aleph, one doesn't have an aleph. One means to touch in a non-sexual sense, and one speak means to touch in a sexual sense. And this gentleman has just confirmed that. Now he's upset. He speaks Arabic. Tell me, where is the... No, but that's why we used you to help us, and you've shown us. You've confirmed what we, what we thought. In Arabic, there are ten ways to Quran. So, this Quran, this Quran, this Quran which Muslims have been memorizing has extra meta in it, okay? Which is not in this one. Because there is extra meta in it, did you take in it? the context. From where did you take it? Yeah, from where did you take this book? From where? where did I buy this yeah, book? Yes, yes. Amazon. Go to Amazon. <laughs> yeah, okay? that's why. Take it from Jordan. This one's from Jordan. This one's from Jordan. This one's from Jordan. Not from Amazon. Arabic. Yusuf Ali. Don't be that. Don't let me pull my gun again. Okay? And don't let me pull my gun. This is my gun. I paid for it. It has nothing to do if I speak Arabic. Why you Muslim confirms that it is different from one?
one another, while they confirm the meaning is different, the conclusion they come is we are brainwashed and we have a problem. Uh, and Amazon has a problem. If, if and Amazon has a problem, and Amazon who give me the Yusuf Ali's translation of the Quran has a problem. You already told me what the Arabic says. Thank you for your help, on Arabic. Yes. But if I were you, I would just shake my hand and then say, I have been lied and lied about my holy yes. book. There are two different Arabic Qurans I'm showing you. Which one is the correct? So, did you not tell me? Letter Elif is missing. Did you tell me or not? Did you say it? Yeah, they are different from one another. Their writing is different. Okay? So, now we establish that one. Should we do another one? So, says, remember, this Quran is different from this Quran in 2629 places. It's a lot of places. Not one place, not two places, yet Quran is the perfect. It is that perfect, they need you to change 2626 words. And still, they need to, I think only thing they can get away now is, they need to find the old Oxford dictionaries and change the definition of the perfect when it comes to the cross. Two perfect Quran. They are so perfect. 2,629 differences. Very, very perfect. Yes, so perfect. Let's find another example from this Quran. This is the Shoba in the Aish Quran. Okay? Do you want to look? Find it? Yep. What's the reference? Which reading, please? This one is the Shoba. Shoba in the Shoba. Who is the reader? That's the reader, sir. So you don't know. You don't know. Shoba is the okay. and that is the half. Okay. Okay. So the one I already read is the halal. Which one? 2629, 26 or 29 variations. Okay. So this is the Shoba ibn Ayash from the Kufa. Okay. Okay. Surah 2188. Surah 2188. Okay, shall I read him? Yeah. So okay. first read the verse and then. Surah 2188. So okay, we listened to him and delivered from him distress. And thus do we deliver those who have faith. Okay? Mm -hmm. Surah 2188. Can you read the half Quran? Okay. So that, Thank this you. is the half Quran. Thank you. Sister. And then can you read this one? <laughs> so you read it, you are Arabic speaker, you haven't found the difference. Look at both of them. And Nunji is the same. No, so, so, Nunji, sorry. Nunji and Nunji. Nunji and Nunji. Yes. And they are different. No. Nunji and Nunji is the same. You are musicians. Are the same. No, they don't sound the same. And they sound different. I might not speak Arabic, but I know when two things don't sound the same. At the end, somebody was... No, no, just... No, 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 you need to understand. Yeah, at the end, somebody was in a problem, and then he became okay. That's the end of the story. So, don't lie. I don't lie. Okay, let's practice. I don't lie. Okay, let's practice. I'm not practicing. Can you, can you yes. tell us Arabic words? Can you read the first Arabic words? Yes. Can you read this Arabic for, for, for us again? Or underline? Nunaji. Nunaji yes. and Nunji. Nunaji. Nunji. 
we mean no. This so is sound is different. Oh, Let's say the yes. meaning is different. No. Okay? So sound is different. Let's first look at the writings are the different. And not, not, you don't have to be genius. Sound is different. Writings is different. Let's see if the meaning is different. And those two. We save, says my friend, my sister's friend. We save, okay? And then the one, this one is the believers were saved. Mm, different. No. They are different. No, 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 no. Tell us what to say. Tell us what to say. One person speaking. Yunus. First of all, learn Arabic well, master Arabic. So, as your brother told us their pronunciation is different, and we already saw their writings are different, can you just tell me, if the writings are different, how can the meanings be exactly the same? In one of them it says, be safe, in other one is, we're safe. That's different. That's different. Two differences. This one in tribe puts in color. They pronounce in in double. Noon the same thing. So I'm asking the simple question. Should I should I follow? Should I follow my sister's Quran or should I follow this Quran? Which so there are two different Qurans. Which one should I follow? No, we did. How can you say that? When okay, we've got just here's the thing. Here's the thing. Abdullah. Was it Abdullah or Ibrahim? Abdullah. 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 You are. Um, it looks a little bit older than me, but you are much healthier that you are not wearing glasses. Okay? So your eyesight, your eyesight are much better than my eyesight because I'm wearing glasses. With my two glasses, my glasses, I can see there are two different Arabic Qurans we are holding. Yet you are telling me there is one. This one, look. And your brother, or your brother already told them. I know, I know what is it. Yeah. I am asking simple question. Writing is different. Sound is different. Meaning is different. Is that is they are the same? No. They cannot be the same. The Muslim people are not saying that. They are different. They are different. And there is a gentleman over there who is searching for the slaves of Allah, asking any Abdul Saran, please help him off on that. Let's look at another one. Let's look at another one. That's it. I don't know who it is. You were never believe that. You were never write that. Someone used to write that. They used to go with the prophet. Let's look at another one. I'm telling you here, over here. It mentions in Arabic. 1886. It says it's based on this guy. 1886. 1886. 1886. Arabic experts help us out. I was teacher of Arabic. Oh, I love this verse. You are teacher of Arabic. Yet, yet. So, is, okay. More than five to ten Abdullah. I always had a big respect to teachers because their work is very, very hard. But I am a bit disappointed as a teacher. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. As a teacher, you say sound is different, writing is different, meaning is different, yet you come to the conclusion they are the same. Where did you qualify to be teacher? I feel sorry for your students. Surah 86. 86. 86 or 18. I love this first, can I just say? It goes like this in the English. Okay. Until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. Near it, he found the people. We said, O oh, Du Al Qunayn, thou hast authority either to punish them or to treat them with kindness. Okay? So, that was Surah 86. You just, you look the I don't have any problem. I have problem with the Quran. No problem. Lots of Quran gives me lots of problems. 
So, let's fix my problems. I know you are not God. You can't fix my problems, but you can help me out. Surah 86, 1886. Okay, what problem? Okay, have you read that? Yes, of Can you read 1886 in different Arabic Quran? Which one can you what how do you say this one, Sam? How do you say that? Hamia. 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 And Hamia. So what is the difference? What is the difference? Tell us. Tell us what is the difference. Hamia and Hamia. Open, sister, open. Sir, you said you are a teacher. I am very, very disappointed that I have to teach you now, okay? So, so look at here. Never. Never. Not when I could teach the Arabic. No, no, I have five PhDs. You, you know what's the difference you over here? You got five PhDs, and you still come to the conclusion that sound different, meaning is different, letter is different, yet they are the same. Five PhD, and that's the conclusion. More than five. More than five. Okay, wait. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Why is, it, why is it Sorry, not two. So not one. Why is it written? Okay. Every word that's different. Okay. Every word that's different is so different. can you just? Why? Do you know what's a different word? Can you just? Why? Why? Sister, open the 886. Right. Okay. So we, so we believe you. We believe you. We believe you, sir, that you've got lots of qualifications. We believe you. We believe you. We just want to ask a simple question. Sir, if you look at here, this is the constellation letter Abdullah. 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 In here, I have a constellation letters has a double dot under it. Constellation letters, double dot under it. In here, where is those double dots? So that's, don't that's say that one Arabic But so one has double dots, the other one doesn't have double dots. But they're different. They're different. One has double dots, one doesn't. Can you tell us? Abdullah. Abdullah. What is the meaning in this one? Hot. 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 Okay. Muddy hot. Muddy hot. What is meaning in this one? The same thing. Muddy hot. Extremely hot. No. Is it not the same? Wow, hot and extremely hot. Sir, no, no, no. You know that in your heart, your meaning is very, very different. You know that in your heart. Let me read the pronunciation for you. Hama, Hami Etin is this one, okay? Ha, Ma Etin is this one. This one means it's market. It has nothing to do with where I am from. I am wearing my glasses. Looking at it, lightings are different. Okay? In one of them, it means it's murky water. In other one, it is extremely hot water. Murky or extremely hot. So, what is this? What is the meaning of what is the difference? Thank you, muddy, 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 muddy. So, muddy water versus extremely hot water. They're not the same. They're two different words. One means murky. One means extremely hot. They are not the same. They are not the same. They are. Different. So let's look at another example. So since we established, so far we are holding, we are holding three different Arabic Qurans. Examples we compared. Sound was different. Examples we looked at was writing was. Different. Examples we looked at was meaning was different, and then we come to the conclusion they are different. But in somehow Arabic speakers come to the conclusion after acknowledging sound, writing, and meaning are different. They come to the conclusion there is only one perfect Quran. Who sees the problem over here? Yes, I there is problem there over is here. Problem. There's a big problem. There is problem 
over here. Yeah. I think they call that problem willful blindness. I brought you my problem and you failed to respond to my problem. Listen to me, what's last word? Go and learn Arabic. Learn Arabic profoundly before you say confess. Sir, 85% of the Muslim world doesn't know Arabic. The current Arabic Muslims are knowing, current, Ara current Arabic Muslims know, Muhammad had nothing to do with that Arabic. Muhammad didn't know that Arabic. At the time of Muhammad, your Arabic was very, very different. And I am sure as a teacher, you know that. Arabic lettering was the same. Arabic was the very, Language very same. different. And Muhammad had nothing to do with the half Arabic, Shabah Arabic, or Kalas Arabic. Since I am holding the three different Arabic Qurans, my question to you is very simple. Which one do you recite? All of them. Which one all do you recite? All of them. You recite all of them. All of them. Through Galileo. Through Muhammad. Are you sure you are reciting all of them? Later on. In Syria. So in Syria you recite this one. In Morocco we have no. But, but, no. but, 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 Okay? And I am sure, as a teacher, you know much better than me that you've got hadith which tells you on the day of judgment the right recitation is going to do easy for you. Is the right recitation. Half Quran is the right recitation. Borsh Quran is the right recitation. Shabah Quran is the right recitation. Recitation. Kalaf Quran. Which one is going to recite for you, Abdullah. Anyone. So, all of them, anyone. Only the right recitation is going to intercede for you. Yeah. Right recitation. No, you've got this in Syria. No problem. So, so this Quran, since you recite this Quran, you believe this Quran is going to intercede for you. But the question is. Sorry? The question is, is that really, really right yes. one? Or oh, it might be that one. Or it might be that one. Or oh, rest of other Turkey. Yeah. And what if you're wrong? That's the thing. Then what's going to happen to you on Judgment Day? Because it's only the right recitation that's going to come to life and intercede for you. So if you've been interceding the wrong, if you've been reciting the wrong one, that's a huge problem. Just within Islamic theology, maybe you need a different religion. Because this is so confused and a bit mad. So, I am afraid I have to tell you this once again. Don't hide behind the Arabic. This is the Arabic Muhammad has nothing to do. This is the Arabic. 85% of the Muslim world doesn't know. Yet, right recitation is going to intercede for you. If this is the right recitation, I am afraid you have no intercessor. When you have no intercessor who argues with Allah on your behalf, you are going to end up pretty, pretty messy place. That will be the time. That's the problem. That is the problem. And that is the time. That is the time. You need to repent and acknowledge the living word of God. Yes. Who is that? Who is going to intercede for you? Yes. It is Lord Jesus Christ. Who is the living word of God? Who is going to intercede for you? Quran. Which one? Which one? All of them are, three of them are different from one another. 32. 32. 32. There are 32 different Arabic Qurans. 32. 32. Sister Aldis, there are 32 different Arabic Qurans. Which one is going to intercede for you? All of them. Not all of them. It says the one you recite is going to intercede for you.
And you've got to walk. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. So you want me to read a book about the crowd while you don't even know how many crowds are there? Can you tell me? Let's make it very simple. Since you've got the knowledge of the crowd, can you tell me uh, when was the seven crowd come together? Officialized. After Osman. Okay. So seventh crowd come together after the Uthman. Give me the date. Give me the date. Give me the date. That's the part of it. No. After after Amar, the main part. No. Anyway. Bring your source. According to you, crops end up into the world 35 years after the Uthman. That is simply and simply false. If it is not the lie, I'm going to give you the benefit of doubt because saying you didn't get the dates right. Okay? So, Pinot Kuran has nothing to do with Uthman. So, my question is very simple. My question is very, very simple. Why they made one perfect Arabic Quran? And that right recitation is going to intercede for you. Can you just tell me which Quran I should follow? All of them. I can't follow all of them. If I follow this one, I have to have a bath. If I follow this one, I have to just wash my hands and my face and my ears. There are two different things. So, they give me two. It's not about interpretation, sir. You already told us one elephant is missing. Okay? When that elephant is missing, that ele missing elif tells me, just wash my hands, my face, my arms, my ears. With the elif, it tells me I need to have a part. So washing hands takes three minutes altogether. Yeah. Fudu will take three minutes. Having part takes minimum seven minutes. Which one I should follow? Very quick bar. Any one of them. Yeah, seven minutes. One, two, one, two, three, six, Which one I should follow? One of them is three minutes, other one is seven minutes. Fast as well. You can't be very deep bar. Color, some color. Say this. Other skin test. One of the categories. Is it clean? Is it metabolic? Allow. If you touch the skin, it's nice. The other will say yeah, that's the, my problem. I am say, asking you the same thing. You don't need to confirm what I'm saying you. But meaning is different as the sound is different, as the writing is different. Which one I should follow? This one, this one is different. 2,629 places the Quran you memorized. Asim from the Asim Quran. This Quran is different with the 504 different places from the Hafs Quran you memorized. And this Quran and this Quran all together different. And this Quran. So three different perfect Arabic Qurans end up in speaker's corner and you just tell me my brain is not thinking. That's not very helpful answer, isn't it? I think we need to tell him about the living word of God. I am not talking about how you recite it. I am asking what it is written. What the meaning of it? What is the application of it? There is a difference between washing hands, washing face, washing ears, washing arms and washing feet versus washing full of your body. You are English. Yes. Isn't that different? There's it's different. It's different. Even so I know that it's different. It has nothing to do with the English people. Okay? In Arabic it is different. Do you think it is a small thing that I am standing here and I am telling you you have been lied, your crimes are different, and you think... You are sure you are looking for something. So, you saw that your own eyes, they are different. 
the word of Allah. Allah give it to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If Quran is perfect and word of Allah and dot to dot is the same, can you just tell me why I have three different Arabic Qurans here? Well, you have four why Bible I have three different, different Arabic Qurans? No difference. Should wrap this up. You saw by your own eyes. And if I were you, if I were standing there in your place, I was teacher with the three PhD. And then someone came and told me there are three different Arabic Qurans. And I saw that with my own eyes. My first thing I would go is go to the my imams and then tell them, why have you lied to me? Why have you lied to me? Yet, as a teacher, in somehow you left your brain, which is possibly critically in somewhere else. Guys, three different Arabic Qurans are holding right now. Part of the 32 different Arabic Qurans. This Quran is different than this Quran. 2,629 places. This Quran is different in 500 four different places from this Quran. Yes, it is the right recitation. It's going to ATC for you on the day of judgment. So what we want to tell Muslims is that rather than try and square this circle, why try and live with this blatant contradiction why try and cover up this blatant lie that you've believed for years and years why try and cover it up with this illogical argumentation don't even try you'll just get yourself in a real mess just don't even try instead accept the reality that this shows you that the Quran is not a book from God okay it cannot bear the weight of evidence that is being uncovered now that there are many different Qurans with many differences so now we want to bring you an alternative which isn't to believe in a corruptible book but to believe in an uncorruptible word of God. Who is that Hattie? Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one you are hunting for. Yes. He is the one yes, you are Muslims. telling. He is the one and only who is going to intercede for you. Yes. It is the Lord Jesus Christ who is the King of Kings and he is the Lord of Intercede for you on the day of judgment. And he is the perfect. He is the living word of God. Which, which tells you, which simply tells you, when he died on the cross, when he shed his blood for you, he gave you eyes and brains to think and accept him. Today was your chance to question what your sheikhs and what your imams have been teaching you. Simple, simple, simple. Repent and come to the eternal word of God. Lord Jesus Christ, repent and worship the living word of God. Repent and worship the one who shed his blood on the cross for you and for me and for all of you. It is the Lord Jesus Christ, because you receive it, you reject him, yes, you are going to end up in a place where God is not present, well, which we right. identify as the hell, because you reject the Son of God, because you reject Yahweh, and you deny his action on the cross, you deny his blood, sir. I feel sorry for you because I acknowledge that you break the heart of my God who concerned for you, who loved you, sir. Repent and come to the living word of God who is going to intercede for those who accept him, those who worship him. Amen. And that is the one when everyone willingly or unwillingly bow down and worship him and declare he is the Lord. He is the Lord, sir. Willingly or unwillingly. Listen to her. Repent and worship Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Nothing can